Did you did you study for this? Shazam! We should do that more often. Like me helping you act and you help me with art maybe or something like that. You don't like my acting? Nah, it's kind of bad. Well, I guess if you want to see better acting, you can check out Coco's second annual film festival. Come watch student-made films by students from CHS Digital Media, Film and TV, and the school at large. Everyone who attends gets one vote using your FUSD computer login, but you can vote from many devices, hosted by Digital Media and our own Jack Stone. It's happening next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, April 16th, 17th, and 18th, in the mini auditorium, all lunches. Also, if film is not your thing, you're in luck because our drama club is actually performing Arsenic, Arsenic and, old, and lace. old Lace. It's only a two-day event starting on Thursday, April 18th at 7.30, then the next day on Friday, April 19th at 7.30 here at Coconino's Mini Auditorium. Make sure to come see the final show of the year. Well, let's switch over to some sport-related announcements. Yeah, sports. Let's cut sports. kickball. Oh. Wait, I haven't played like kickball since middle school, dude. Well, there's a kickball tournament happening on April 22nd through the 26th. Now let's cut to sports. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Kiki Trader, and it's great to be back. And I'm Braden Monell. And, and this, this is Panther Sports. sports. Let's start off the week with softball. They've had an amazing season. Like last week, softball played three amazing games. They played against Mingus and Mesquite, which they won both by a score of six to five and 12 to two. And they lost against Cactus, where they got their third loss of the season, two to nine. On the fifth, our tennis team played against Northland Prep, where they battled, but came out short, four to five. Also on the fifth, track traveled down over to Lakeside and completed at the Blue Ridge Invitational. Then on the sixth, they traveled down to Sedona, where they took second. Before we move on to this week's games, most of the games this week are being played Thursday and Friday. We might not be able to get the scores. And also, beach volleyball had a game against Scottsdale Christian. And on Thursday, die start the next day. Okay. Baseball had three games going on this week. On Monday, they played Cactus, winning 4-3. On Thursday, they went down to Peoria. During the weekend, they will be facing Bradshaw Mountain. Softball played on the 11th against Peoria. Today, they played Mojave here at 4. Come out and show some support. Tennis played on the 9th against Bradshaw and won 6-5. And on the 11th, they played against Barry Goldwater. On the 13th, track goes to the Valley for a meet at Pinnacle High School. Well, that's it for this week, Panthers. Now, now back, back to Jack. Jack. And Never mind. <laughs> you know, we haven't seen Keegan and Brayden in a while. Right, they've been pretty busy working with the new anchors, but you know who else we haven't heard from in Our a while? Our good old friend Bondo? Yeah, Bondo. Good morning, Panthers. This is Assistant Principal Steve Bondrude, aka Bondo, with a few statistics and safety reminders. 2015, 5,376 pedestrians and 818 bicyclists were killed in crashes with motor vehicles. 2015, it was estimated that 70,000 pedestrians were injured in crashes with motor vehicles. Speed on and about campus must be a speed where the driver's control of their vehicle and aware of your surroundings and conditions at all times to avoid any collisions. Crosswalk and traffic lights. It's been reported that during lunches, CHS students are crossing on red lights and outside of the crosswalks at the intersection of West and Cedar, heading to the Safeway Shopping Plaza. Please pay attention to the traffic lights and use the crosswalks. Attention to traffic lights and, and use the crosswalks. Let's not be a, a statistic. Let's have a great accident-free school year. Yeah, listen to Bondo, guys, because I didn't listen and I had to pay the fees, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you did. Um, let's wrap up this episode by talking about the JROTC Award Ceremony. JROTC hosted its annual award ceremony on April 10th here at Coconino High School. Cadets earned rewards for academic excellence, community participation, JROTC involvement, citizen and leadership. Cadet leaders for next year were also recognized. Shout out to everyone in JROTC. Well, that's all we have for this week, everybody. And now as always, face, face your fears, Panthers, Panthers rock! Enfrenta tus miedos a las Panteras. I don't know. <laughs> what are we both doing?